Good morning, Deer Park. I'm Ron Spencer, and this is your Stag TV. Hello Deer Park and welcome to This Week in Sports. To start off with, football ended their season last Saturday and even though we didn't get the win, it was a hard fought game and we couldn't be more proud of our team for going undefeated in league and making it to the semifinals. Here are the MVP and players who made it to the first team this season. Bennett Lim won defensive MVP and made first team offense. Matt Jorgensen made first team defense and won offensive MVP. Andrew Oletti made first team offense and first team defense. Sam Rebold also made first team offense and first team defense. Andrew Stenbeck made first team offense and Diego Vasquez made first team special teams. Go Diego go. Coach Keith Stamps won coach of the year and lastly Ryan Jorgensen won assistant coach of the year. On to soccer. Livy Moore won co-offensive MVP and Hannah Hodgson won defensive MVP. Hannah Hodgson, Hannah Carnahan, Livy Moore, and Gracelyn Martinson made the 2019 All-Conference team. Congratulations on such a great year. Lastly, basketball won their first game. Jovi Gelder scored 22 points, Dawson Youngblood had 19 points with 12 rebounds, and the Stags defeated the visiting Wildcats in a non-league opener on Tuesday. Girls basketball is also off to a good start. Havala Fairbanks scored 23 points, Anna Patterson contributed 11 points, while Taylor Lyons added 10 for Deer Park. Go Stags! Thank you for watching, I'm Wyatt Quinlivan, and this has been another wonderful This Week in Sports. See you next week. Do you like conspiracy theories? Because I don't. Here's Joshua to introduce our next piece. There's been many conspiracy over the years, but none compared to ours. Today we will be taking a look at seemingly normal pictures and uncovering their secrets, if any. Welcome to the Joshua Zone. Welcome viewers to the Conspiracy of Conspiracies. Over the last few years I have been searching for the one and only Waldo. Why did I spend the last four years trying to find Waldo you ask? Well that's none of your business. But I will tell you this, you never found Waldo. We have a real eyewitness that has claimed to have seen Waldo. I am here with the witness that has claimed to have seen Waldo. How did I get here? I'm asking the questions here. So, you've claimed to have seen Waldo. I'll only answer if my face is blurred. Okay. Now tell us where you've seen Waldo. I saw Waldo leaving Siberian war camp, thus making me only human to ever see Waldo. So, he is said to have seen Waldo here. There we go. He told us that he saw Waldo here, Siberia. If we zoom in, we will see the Pentagon. You might be asking yourself, why? Is the Pentagon relevant here? And I say, keep thoughts like that to yourself. But back to the topic. The Pentagon has five sides. Waldo, five, boom. I just blew this out of the water. One, two, three, four, five, boom. But I'm not done yet. Here, if we zoom in, we can see Big Keanu. You're breathtaking. And if we move him, we see smaller Keanu. And if we go so far to move smaller Keanu, we see Waldo. Now, we must storm the Pentagon to stop Waldo on February 30th, 2020. See you there, comrades. The darkness! And now, coffee time.
Welcome back to Coffee Time. I'm your host, Blake Robson, and today we take a look at Coffee Coma. This cozy little drive through coffee shop has a big surprise. It's almost entirely a one-woman operation. Let's get right into the interview. First, we asked what got her into coffee. Uh, I was a barista for eight years at Java Hut in Spokane, and I wanted to do my own, so my dad helped me find a stand up here in Deer Park. If you'd like to see the full interview, go to the Deer Park Stag TV YouTube channel. Tomorrow marks the 78th anniversary of the tragic attack on Pearl Harbor by the Japanese. Here's a short memorial to commemorate this tragic event. Yesterday, December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. The United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. The United States was at peace with that nation. And at the solicitation of Japan, was still in conversation with its government and its emperor, looking toward the maintenance of peace in the Pacific. I believe that I interpret the will of the Congress and of the people when I assert that we will not only defend ourselves to the uttermost, but will make it very certain that this form of treachery shall never again endanger us. People here at Stag TV don't take tragic events as a joke. Here's a piece that will hopefully lift up your spirits. Hello, welcome to Food Time. My name is Hunter, and on today's edition of Food Time, we will be reviewing Zips. <laughs> test, 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 test. Oh. Hey guys, I'm Trevin. You may know me from Adam throwing various objects at my face. <laughs> that hurt. This is my host. Today, we've already said it, we're reviewing Zips. Um, this just happens to be my favorite restaurant in Deer Park. Probably my favorite fast food in general. Okay, boomer. Oh. So, camera boy, food. What, what would you like? Burger. Holy cow! Look at that! It is a, um... This is a wrangler? Now that happens, um, Our cameraman just walked away, so... He's gone. Um, I'm gonna... Some of the best in what? Holy moly! <sighs> God has blessed us today! You can see the steam, and we're in a warm place. <laughs> Holy moly, that actually burns. <laughs> Let's go ahead and try one. Let's, okay. Let's try two, actually. What's your favorite sauce? I am a very, very big man, and I'm a big ketchup man. Well, we need some sauce. Uh, sauce boy? Oh, oh, oh thank oh. you. Are you ready? Soak it. Mmm, that's good. Mm. And to go with the sauce perfectly, here's a little bit of uh, french fry and uh, the ketchup. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you would like to see more, go to www.youtube.com slash DeerParkStagTV. This has been this week's edition of Stag TV. I'm Ron Spencer. Thank you for watching.